Hi, my name is Jim Brocker. I would call myself an extreme conservative, so I'm certainly no apologist for Common Core curriculum. But I get a little irritated at my friends when they tell me that the math problems taught in Common Core are more difficult for kids to learn, are more complicated than the way that they learned it when they were kids. I don't believe that's true. And in fact, I taught myself to do math the way it's done in the Common Core long before Common Core was ever heard of. And it allows me to work with much bigger numbers in my head than I would have been able to otherwise. I wish all of my friends had learned to do math this way when they were young. Uh, because they've realized how much easier it can be if you understand what the relationships among the numbers are. So, I'm doing this mainly for my friend Chad. Chad, pay attention. We can talk about this later. Okay, Chad. I'm going to do a subtraction problem here because I think it's really easy to illustrate this with uh, subtraction. And I'm going to subtract the number 1462 and um, 587. So I'm subtracting 587 from 1462. And first I'm going to do it the way we learned it when we were kids. 1462 minus 587. Now the first thing I want to do is start with this column. And I want to subtract the 7 from the 2, but I can't do that because I get a negative number. So I have to add 10 to that 2, and I now have 12, and 12 minus 7 is 5. Next thing I have to do is I have to subtract a unit from here because I borrowed that 10 from the 60 and now made it 50. So now I have to subtract 8 from 5. Well I can't do that because I get a negative number so I have to add another 10 to that and of course I have to take that away from here so that makes that a 3. Now 15 minus 8 is 7 and uh, now I come over here and I can't do 3 minus 5 either, so I have to borrow another 10. That takes that to 0. This is 13. And 13 um, uh, minus 5 is 8. So I get 875. Well, let's check our math. Okay, so I'm going to add right here to check the math. 7 plus 5. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's a 12. Okay. This is a 15, that makes that 16. Now I had to carry a 1 here. Uh, excuse me, I forgot to carry the 1. So I needed to carry a 1, so that's 9 plus 7 is 16. And uh, now I've got another 1 to carry, so that becomes a 9. And 9 plus 5 is 14, so I'm back to 1462. So that's how we learn to do it when we're kids. Now I'm going to do it the way I taught myself to do it over the years decades before there was a common core, I learned that A, I wasn't very good at math, and I certainly wasn't very good at subtraction. So I figured out I didn't need to subtract ever. I could always add my way and get the same number. And the way I do that is I start from the lower number and I work my way up to the bigger number by adding, and whatever I come up with is going to be the right number. So um, 1462 minus 587. The first thing I'm going to do is try to get to 600. Well, I can do that by adding 13. 587 plus 13 gets me to 600. Now to get from 600 to 1400, that's a pretty easy math for me to do too. That's 800. And now I need 62 more because I only made it to 1400, so I add 62. And this is pretty easy. I've got 3 plus 2 is 5, 6 plus 1 is 7, 875, the same number I came up with here. I think there were fewer steps here. That's not always true, uh, but um, there were fewer steps here than there were here. But just look how uh, the difference complicated. I can do this. If I can remember these three numbers, I can add all that up in my head. I can't do this in my head. There's too much going on there. So I found this to be easier. If you had learned it this way when you were a kid, then your uh, son or daughter brought these, this method home of doing it, you would be totally confused why, by it and you would be complaining and wondering why is it that we don't do it the way I learned it. On the other hand, because you learned it this way, this seems complicated. It isn't. 